So Anna, first of all, congratulations for being picked uh, for GB Thank Junior. <laughs> quite quite an achievement. So how did you how did you feel when you found out? Uh, it was incredible. Like I started jumping up and down and stuff, and yeah, my coach told me before the selection came out, so it was kind of like I had to keep it confidential, so I couldn't jump up and down anymore. But like, <laughs> yeah, it was good. <laughs> so, so I'd say that since we've been a bit, you had quite a busy season. Uh, yeah. National records, box medals. What's been the highlight of it all, though? Um, I think my four meter jump. Um, and the bronze I got at the British Indoor Champs, that was like the highlight, I think. Or winning butts indoors, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> I've seen a lot. Too many to choose from, is it? <laughs> um, so why did you pick Cardiff Met? Um, I wanted to come somewhere where the facilities were really great. Um, yeah. And so it was kind of like here or Loughborough. And then I kept, went to both open days and here, like, it was just felt like a family, you know, it was just, it was... Um, I don't know, you just kind of felt looked after and it just kind of swayed it. So what's the aim for this year? Um, well, it was to jump four um, and now we're not too sure. We're, <laughs> <laughs> we're kind of just seeing where it goes after this, but um, yeah, yeah, just seeing where it goes. I suppose it's quite good that you've got your own out of the way and done it quite yeah. quickly. <laughs> yeah, just enjoy it now. Um, so in terms of being a scholarship student, how has Cardiff Met helped you as an athlete? Um, the physio and massage um, you get is like really great. I mean, like you can go in and have a massage like in an hour. You know what I mean? Like if you need one, and it's just like you you can't really find that anywhere else. Yeah. Um, real, it's just yeah, it just helps yeah. so much. Um. So, what's been your favourite Bucks moment? Um. Winning was a highlight, but I think the mascot race probably <laughs> would top it over everything. That was incredible. Um, so most people probably don't really know what happened to Bucks Outdoors. Can you can you describe what happened to Bucks yeah, Outdoors? So there was um, qualifying rounds, which went um, quite well. Well, I qualified. Um, and then the weather was pretty bad um, for the final, so they called off. Um, and yeah, that was it. Didn't really get a chance to compete. So I guess maybe the aim next year is probably to get indoor and outdoor. Yeah, that'd be great. So looking back on your first year as a, a university student and as an athlete, what advice would you give to future students? Um, probably just not to worry. I mean, I thought, especially coming from Scotland, like it's quite quite a long way away from yeah. your family. But I mean, like the track is like kind of like a track family we have. You know, like everybody knows each other, everybody has each other's back, and um, yeah, just not to worry. Like everything is so much better than you think it's gonna be. Um. So, what are your plans for the rest of the season? Um, kind of just. I don't know, try and work on what I'm working on in training and competition, I think, and um, just enjoy where it takes me. Like, I've already kind of surpassed what I thought I would manage to do, so um, yeah, just enjoy the experiences that I get now. I suppose if you enjoy your athletics and your university, that probably makes things a lot, yeah, a lot easier. Yeah, there's a great balance. Yeah. yeah. Um, so my last question for you is, what does it mean to be a Cardiff Archer for you? Um, it's great. It's, it's such a good atmosphere at the track, and, and when you go away on teams, like, you can see like the relationships within our team are just they're like really strong compared to others. Like everybody knows each other and yeah, everybody just has each other's back. It's great. Okay, well, thank you very much, Anna. Good luck thank for Loughborough and the rest of the season. <laughs> thank you.